What's going on, David? Just trying to throw out a couple tags here before we get started. It's good. Most of uh, most of the watches are actually in the group here. I get some breaks where almost nobody joins in, and they always watch it on, or uh, not always, and they watch it on YouTube. It's nice to have people in the room watching it. Anybody else? That's it. I think that's everybody now. I might have missed one or two, but there's some tags, and I will get this ready while we wait. Final box of this master case. I see a couple familiar names in here, a couple new ones. Mostly familiar, though, so welcome back. First case, the first inner case was nice. Last night was fairly weak. Fairly weak. A couple, a couple people had a decent break last night, but it wasn't as strong of a case as the first one. So hopefully this one picks it up again. I agree. I agree. It is more exciting when you watch it live. Especially if you get a really nice card. It's not as exciting if you skunk, but if you get something really nice, that makes it more exciting. All right, we got a fresh box here. See a seal on the end. I try to show these every time. Sometimes I forget though. It's just fresh seal, seal box. Sometimes I forget to show the seals. I mean, not that anybody's ever accused me of any pack searching or whatever. I don't know. I don't know what having an unsealed box would do, but there's the seal. Five boxes ready to go. Oh, it's hot in my house tonight. Even the office, my office in here is hot. All right, where are we at? I think we're ready. Let's see, we got 10 viewers and I think 15 people in the break, which is pretty good, pretty good odds, pretty good. Let me just fix my camera here. It's a little off center. All right, everybody, welcome to the break. We're going to get started. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Wes. I am currently the only breaker here in this group. I've been doing this for a few years now because I love opening packs. And as always with my eBay breaks, nobody goes home empty-handed. So if you if you miss on this break and you don't get at least a relic or an autograph, I'll make sure you get at least a pack of cards or more. Sometimes I send multiple packs of cards. Sometimes a couple different varieties. Sometimes I'll send some random hits. Let me get this. Sorry, I got tape in my way. Putting my knife in the wrong spot. 
So nobody goes empty handed in my breaks, as most of you know. So, yeah, okay, so yeah, the names um, 266 out of 399 are G3. The names in this group are formatted the way they are because I copy and paste them right off of eBay. So that's, that's why Dylan's name is all lowercase. I've had a couple people ask me about that in PMs. They're like, why is my name spelled weird or completely wrong? And I'm like, I copied it right off of eBay. Sometimes it's not even the right name. And they didn't realize that's what their name was set at on eBay. 13 out of 399, Doug Martin. Sometimes it confuses me when I do the shipping because I sort all the cards here on the table. I package them all up based on this list you see on the screen. And then I weigh them and go to print out the shipping labels through eBay, and some of the names don't match up, so I got to go back through, match them up. 110 out of 399, Kawan Short for the Panthers. We got Mike James going to the Bucks. 288 out of 399. Russell Wilson going to the Seahawks. 79 out of 399. And the short print. Nice one. Out of 25. I mean, it's Matt McGloin, but it's a nice uh, nice lower number. Usually these are out of 49 with the gold parallel. But here's a nice silver parallel. 18 out of 25. Going to the Raiders. There's one shorter print minimum in every box of the base cards. Sometimes they throw a printing plate in there or a couple short prints. First hit is Vance McDonald going to San Fran. Going to the 49ers. Three of five. Super short print. Super duper short print. Super duper ultra mega short print. My youth was throughout the 90s, so Street Fighter. Street Fighter 2 Super Ultra Mega Edition. Three of five. I wish that patch were a little better, but I like that short print. It's cool. It's cool. Next up we got Matt Barkley going to the Eagles. I'm still looking to pull my first Zach Ertz RPA. I have never pulled one yet. I had an Eagles fan in the group last night looking for it. 194 out of 299. I think that patch is better than the one that was on the number to five card. Of course, Matt Barkley isn't an eagle. Actually, I don't think he's in the league anymore, but that is a nice patch. See, I still enjoy cards. I'm an Eagles fan. I enjoy cards like this, even if they're not on the team anymore, just because it's a nice looking piece of artwork. I like the patch. Nick Casa going to the Raiders. 132 out of 199 on a sticker. That's going to Dawson. I didn't even look for the for the first couple of hits. So this goes to Dawson. The Eagles is Mark. And the first hit was the 49ers, which is Keel. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Keel. Next hit is Matt Elam going to the Ravens. 86 out of 199 sticker. And that one goes to Dawson. Dawson got screwed over a little bit last night after having a good first night. Looking to make it up right now, it seems. Two hits, two autos out of the first box. And it's not a break without a Mike Glennon. <laughs> Got to have the Mike Glennon. 76 out of 99. Single color relic. Like Kyle. Okay. I like Keel though. It sounds cooler. But Kyle makes more sense. Tampa Bay with the only relic. I think we had that last night, too. The first box had four autos instead of three. Uh, that is Kyle. Kyle slash Keel. Oh, I'm going to have to struggle now. Alec Ogletree is the metal card going to the Rams. Metal rookies. Metal cards are cool, especially when... 
especially when they're not. If you take there's a protective coating on it, if you take it off, they look even cooler because they're less shiny. All right, box number two. A couple nice relics in there. Nice, nice extra short print. Got Joe Thomas going to the Browns. Three fifty nine out of three ninety nine. Ten of ten. Jason Witten. Oh man, Adam would have killed for that card. <laughs> he's a Cowboys fan in my group here. He loves him from Cowboys, and he's missed some big. He's got some nice ones in here, but he's missed a couple really big ones like that quad auto. Ten of ten. Jason Witten. That's basically a hit right there. Going to Scott. Nice card. Marques Wilson going to the Bears. 151 out of 399. And for the Raiders, C.O. Moore. 82 out of 399. 49ers, Navarro Bowman. 65. Out of 399. Short print, gold parallel, Dante Whitner, 47 out of 49, going to the 49ers. Yeah, I like that. Out of 49 for the 49ers. That's that's fancy. How about if it were 49 out of 49 and his jersey number were 49? That'd be sweet. Dante Whitner. Next up, we got Kenny Stills going to the Saints. 186 out of 299 with a three-color patch. Decent hit right there. Decent, decent hit. Decent patch, too. Who's got New Orleans? That is... Uh, Scott. Scott's having a good break now. Picked up a few teams and he's hitting with them. Nice auto. Look at that. Niall Davis, three color patch. 229 out of 299. That's an on card autograph. Going to the Chiefs. David. Pretty decent, pretty decent. Uh, oh, David's in here too. Um, C.O. Moore going to the Raiders. We just pulled this guy's base card. 120 out of 22 out of 25, Case Keenum. Gold parallel. And that one goes to the Texans. It's a cool card. I don't think I've ever pulled Case Keenum before. Josh Gordon going to the Browns. 9 out of 99. This should be a game used. Game worn material. I'm a fan of the game worn material. I know my regulars hear that from me all the time. I think it's pretty sweet. Hard to find that anymore. And again, my lighting doesn't do it much justice, but that's got, looks a bit yellow, a bit sweaty. Or dirty. Josh Gordon. Game used relic. Jumbo, too. And Julio Jones. 1, 2, 3 out of 2, 99. 
game worn material. They don't make them like they used to. There are tons of game worn material in these products. And the metal card is Matty Ice, Falcons Metal Captains. Sweet. Box number three. We didn't hit a one of one last night until the last box. I think it was. I think it was in the last box. Pulled three printing plates out of this case so far. Two of them in the first case and one in the last. And the two in the first case were both of the red spins. The Dawson. It is nice to get back-to-back -back elite players. 118 out of 399 for the Cardinals. Daryl Washington. Was it back-to-back -back Falcons? I noticed. No, it was uh, the Texans. Texans came before that. Antonio Gates. 199 out of 399. Chargers. And for the Bengals, Rex Burkhead. 134 out of 399. And we got Matt Scott for the Jags. He's got a mustache too, doesn't he? <laughs> 396 out of 399. I didn't know they had a, a stash before. Poor Minshew. Brad Sorensen going to the Chargers. 352 out of 399. Oh yeah, the metal card. That's right. I forgot because I stacked that in the back. So yeah, you're right. I have a different pile for that, and I can't... Well, you can see it on the, the camera up in the top right up here. I've got the metal cards all the way back here, so they're kind of out of my view. And I forget very quickly. Matt Elam going to the Ravens. 20 out of 25, short print. Silver parallel. I forget things fairly quickly in my old age. Once you hit your 40s, it's all downhill. 20 out of 25, Baltimore. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Finally. Ertz. Got an Ertz rookie auto right here. Who's got the Eagles in this one? Mark Judge. I might be overdoing it with the bells and whistles on that one, but I'm an Eagles fan, so I'm happy about it. 28 out of 99. Zach Ertz with the Jersey window auto. The first Ertz I've pulled in this product. And he shouldn't be that rare. He is rare to get these days because for some reason he doesn't sign autographs anymore. I know because I have a bunch of redemptions in for him that have been sitting there for a couple years. Zach Ertz to 99. Nice hit. And we got Andre Ellington. 246 out of 299 with an on card auto for the Cardinals. Pulled this guy already. Not tonight, but last night or the night before. I don't remember one. 59 out of 199. Ryan Spadola for the Dolphins. Look at that blonde bombshell right there. A handsome man. 59 out of 199. Dolphins. Oh! Wow! <laughs> Joe Montana. 10 of 10 going to the 49ers.
How about that? That is nasty. That is a nasty hit right there. I think that one deserves a one touch. So I got a hundred pointer out here. Uh, let's sell it 130. I think this is a 130. That is nasty. I'm going to have to top load this bad boy up. I was going to put it in a one touch, but I do not have a hundred point one touch. I think I am out. One thirty, two hundred, one eighty, thirty-five, thirty-five, thirty-five. Even the ones on my desk here that I just keep sitting there. I'll make sure this is good and protected before it goes in the mail. I want to one touch it, but I don't have one. One zero out of one zero. Joe Montana. It is a sticker, but that is nasty. <laughs> you just never know, man. You just never know. That is sick. That does. That hurts. I've had that happen to me. I've missed out on a team by seconds or by a small amount of price. Ryan Tannehill going to the Dolphins, 23 out of 99. Game-worn material. You never know some of these products, what you'll get out of them. You can look at the draft class, and you're like, well, it's not amazing, but yeah, there's a good shot at a nice vet in these things. Or short prints. You know, there's always a chance for something nice. Joe Flacco, 290 out of 299. And that is game worn material for the Ravens. Metal card is. Monty Ball going to the Broncos. Metal rookies. You got the 49ers, Rupert? Is that. Are you Kyle? Are you Kyle on eBay? I never know because, like the guy was talking about earlier, I don't know if. I don't know if the names I pull off of eBay are the real person's name, if it's. if they're using. A family member's account. They just have a fake name on eBay or on here. Never know. So I don't know who's got what half the time in terms of when the break's live. Sometimes the names match up. Sometimes they don't. See a redemption down here. 301 out of 399. Jared Allen going to the Vikings. Aaron Rodgers, 323 out of 399. Cool, man. Congrats. That's an awesome hit for you. Tyler Bray going to the Chiefs, 134 out of 399. Very nice hit, man. I agree. It is very hard to top that. I think that might be the case hit. It's, I have pulled, I pulled um, 139 out of 399. Robert Alford. I pulled some decent hits out of this. I mean, I pulled, um, wow, I, I pulled a couple, I've gotten like, um, 
I've gotten Adrian Peterson. I've gotten Andrew Luck out of this. Luke Wilson, 42 out of 399 for the Seahawks. I have pulled some decent names out of that, but Montana, I think, takes the cake. Gronk, 37 out of 49, gold parallel for the Patriots. I can pretty much say for sure that that's the best hit I pulled out of this product so far. I still have two more cases of this, but I'm putting together a super mixer that I'm going to do in the group here. 37 out of 49 is a nice, nice one for the Pats. And once again, Mike Glennon. Boyd, what's up? <laughs> 21 out of 25, three-color patch. This is nicer than the first one I pulled. Boyd, you just missed the Joe Montana that I pulled. <laughs> we get one more big hit. This might be the, the cream of the crop for this product for me. This is probably the second best break I've had of this so far. But we still got a few more hits in here and a whole nother box. I like that card. That's nice. The on-card autograph. I mean, Mike Glennon isn't amazing, but that's just a nice-looking card. I don't know about that coloring, though. It looks like the Broncos. Either way, nice card. Redemption. I'm going to set it right here. Jaron Brown going to the Cardinals. 18 out of 199. Yeah, I'll show you in a sec. It's a pretty nasty card. Boyd is our resident Panthers fan, so he's always in. He's always in here looking to see who's getting Panthers if he doesn't have them. And he's a good dude too. Handsome, I might say. Handsome, handsome guy. Yeah, check it out, Boyd. Joe Montana, 10 of 10. Isn't that nasty? Thing is sick. <laughs> Ryan Matthews going to the Chargers game one material 128 out of 299 I do have a guy in this group that's a, our, our regular uh, our regular 49ers guy Jake I'm sure he would love that Montana <laughs> So if you're selling it, look look up Jake VW in this group. He might be interested in uh, picking it up off of you. Denard Robinson going to the Jags. This is event war material because it's a rookie. 200 out of 299. It's not the first Montana I've ever pulled, but it's the first one out of this product. Wait, maybe... Maybe it is the first Joe Montana auto I've ever pulled. I feel like I've had one once. I think that's my second one. I don't know. I could look through my pictures here in the group and see. Metal card is Geno Smith. Going to the Jets. Metal rookies. These don't have numbers on them, in case anyone's wondering. Card number, but no print number. And the redemption. I'm going to cover the face of it right here. Rookie signature materials prime card number two two three. Marcus Lattimore. So that is the Saints, I think. I don't trust my memory, so I always look it up because I have a terrible memory. Forty Niners. See, that's why I don't trust my memory because I'm usually wrong. Carson Wentz. Oh, that must be the Jaguars. I know, like Forty Niners, boy. Forty Niners. It goes to what the card will come in as a redemption. So if you redeem this card and it comes back, it comes back as a Forty Niners card. That's why it goes that way. how we do this product because well that's how you should do any redemption honestly if, if you know for sure it's going to come back with a specific nfl uniform on it 
We should go to that team. Yep, I looked it up on eBay. That's how I do these. I look them up on eBay to see what the actual card itself looks like. Marcus Lattimore, 2013 Panini Black. RPA out of 299, 49ers. I'm looking at it right now. Because I don't, I don't really know what the, the checklists are confusing for some of these older products. Dude, the 49ers hit all the time. The first break I did of this two nights ago, not the first, but the first break out of this case I did two nights ago, I think the 49ers had five hits in that break. Autographs. I think, I'm think i pretty sure that there were five autographs in that break for the 49ers. It was a huge package that I sent out. This is the final box tonight. And it's the final box I'm going to do with this product for a little while because it's a lot of work. A lot of work to do these, these boxes three nights in a row. When you have a full-time job during the day and you're trying to run a super mega mixer. So I do have two more cases of this product. At least one of those cases is going to go into like a super mega mixer, which I started doing last season right before this kickoff. I'm going to do a big time mixer, which will be a little bit expensive, but it's going to be a lot of product. So I'll have a full case of this and that. 54 out of 399, Daryl Washington. If you're interested in that, just stay in the group. Turn on notifications. I'll post a notification about it a day or two ahead of time when the break's going to go up. And you'll have time to pay for it too because it'll be a couple hundred bucks. Dwayne Bowie, 82 out of 399. Going to the Chiefs. I don't usually do super big breaks because I don't have that big of a group. But I do the one the one every year. It's a really big break. Josh Boyce going to the Patriots, 389 out of 399. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm glad I was able to help you. Josh Boyce. Yeah, I don't know what it is, man. The 49ers are just a hot commodity in this product. I didn't expect to pull Joe Montana. They just seem to hit a lot of cards. 144 out of 399. Chris Gragg going to the Bills. Bow Dog. Geno Atkins. 223 out of 399. Going to the Bengals. And the shorter print is Gerald McCoy going to the Bucks. The Bucks are another one that seemed to hit a lot. 10 out of 49 gold parallel. I've never seen a big name come out for the Bucks, but they seem to hit a lot. Pretty sure the Bucks hit in like every break of this. All right, and the first hit is Le'Veon Bell. That's a decent hit. It's not as amazing as it would have been a few years ago, but that is still a nice hit. One twenty-eight out of two ninety-nine going to the Steelers. Five years ago, this would have been an amazing hit. Hell, three years ago, it would have been an amazing hit. 128 out of 299 on card autograph. Maybe on Bell going to the Steelers. That's a nice hit. That one goes to Robert. I'd like to have that. I mean, I, if I were a Steelers fan, I'd be happy with that card. It's unfortunate what happened with that guy, but Antonio Brown would have been a worse one. Matt Barkley to go along with the Zach Ertz window going to the Eagles. And this is numbered. Five out of 49. Pulled my first Zach Ertz in this. Got a Joe Montana. Pulled a Le'Veon Bell. It's been a pretty decent break. Some pretty decent hits for 2013. This isn't amazing, but... Tavares King going to the Panthers. They didn't get me with the Broncos uniform. 39 out of 99, signed by the Panthers on October 21st, 2013. And there is a Panthers logo on the back. Tavares King for the Panthers. There it is, Boyd. You're always looking to see what kind of Panthers cards come out. <laughs> there it is. You love what? 
A.J. Green going to the Bengals. 12 out of 25. Game-worn material. Yeah, it happens. Not everybody can be a hit in the NFL. It's usually not a good sign when a rookie's traded during his rookie season. Or signed during his rookie season from from the, the no team list. Stedman Bailey going to the Rams. 53 out of 99. Jumbo Relic. Event-worn material. Because it's a rookie. Yeah, I do like the window cards. The Ertz that I pulled was a window card. I'm a little jealous of that. I'd like to have me a nice Ertz window card. Luke Keekley Metal Captain. Now I know Boyd's jealous. <laughs> he loves him some Luke Keekley. Going to the Panthers. Metal Captains. Metal card. Woo. It's heavy. With some heavy metal. Dun, dun, dun. Breaking the law. That is the final card. Let me give you guys a recap. Thanks for getting in on this break tonight. I do not have anything else posted up on eBay right now. But I'm thinking I'm going to do a full-size helmet or two sometime soon. I just got eight new helmets in, so I'm going to try to clear out the specialty edition ones I have. I have two of those left. I'm going to try to get rid of those. Maybe put a couple of the full-size 2020 helmets in that super mixer that I'm setting up. But like I said, if you skunked in this break, if you get nothing at all, I will make sure you get at least a pack of cards. If you got just base cards, meaning these kind, these numbered out of 399, I will also make sure you get a pack of cards. That way everybody gets something more than just base cards. I know, Ryan, you've had a rough, man. You've, you've definitely had a rough break here. I noticed that in the last couple packages for you that there hasn't been a whole lot for you. It's just been a it's been a bad few breaks for you. Sorry, man. That, that does suck. All right. Let me run this recap. I'm not going to call out each one of these. I'm just going to show them. It's been rough. It's been rough for a couple people in, in this uh, in this product. Some some people get it really good. And some people just get slammed. But that's kind of what we all get into with breaking, right? Sometimes you just strike out. But, you know, I try to make sure if you, you know, you skunk with quite a few teams, you get a couple extra packs or something. I'm actually running out of packs. I'm going to have to buy some more products so I can send out some more free packs with these breaks. I've been giving so many away, I'm almost out. These are the shorter print base cards. Gerald McCoy out of 49. Gronk out of 49, Matt Elam out of 25, Dante Whitner out of 49, Jason Witten out of 10, nice, Matt McGoin out of 25, it's actually not very many, we usually have like a few more than this, we got metal, metal cards back here, we got the Keekly metal captains, I know they're hard to see, sorry about that, Geno Smith metal rookie, we got Monty Ball metal rookie, Got the Matt Ryan Metal Captains and Alec Ogletree Metal Rookies. Relics. We got Stedman Bailey going to the Rams out of 99. AJ Green going to the Bengals out of 25. Denard Robinson out of 299, Jags. Ryan Matthews out of 299 for the Chargers. Joe Flacco for the Ravens out of 299. Tannehill for the Dolphins out of 99. Julio Jones out of 299. Falcons. Josh Gordon for the Browns out of 99. A lot of these are game worn material. Mike Glennon for the Bucks out of 99. All of the vets in this were game worn materials. Every once in a while you get one that's an event worn material. All of them in this one are game worn. The vets, not the rookies. And the autographs. I didn't order these. 
And if we didn't put them in any particular order, we got Tavares King out of 99 for the Panthers. We got Matt Barkley for the Eagles out of 49. Le'Veon Bell out of 299 for the Steelers. Decent one right there. We got Marcus Lattimore going 49ers. Signature Materials Prime. That should be out of 199, I think. It might be out of 299. Jaron Brown going to the Cardinals out of 199. Mike Glennon for the Bucks out of 25. Did they not put a... Oh, there is a Bucks logo on it. Ryan Spadola, Dolphins out of 199. Andre Ellington to the Cardinals, RPA on card out of 299. Zach Ertz, window card out of 99. Right? Yep, 28 out of 99. Uh, the lighting, sorry. Ertz to 99. That's a nice hit right there. Case Keenum, 22 out of 25 for the Texans. C.O. Moore out of 199 for the Raiders. Niall Davis for the Chiefs out of 299. Kenny Stills for the Saints out of 299. Uh, Matt Elam for the Ravens out of 199. And these top loaders are reflective as heck. Out of 199, Nick Casa. Nick Casa for the Raiders. Another Matt Barkley. The Eagles had three hits in this. I, didn't even, I forgot about this one. Out of 299 RPA on card. That's a nice autograph, actually. We got Vance McDonald going to the 49ers. Super short print, three out of five. 49ers had an amazing break. And then Joe Montana, 10 out of 10, baby. Sticker auto, gold parallel. Nasty. That's nasty. <laughs> Congrats, 49ers, on a super duper sick break. That was just disgusting. Eagles had a good break there. Got a few nice cards out of that one. That was decent. That was a pretty decent break. That was much, much, much better than the one last night. I know Ryan got a little bit screwed over. I'll have to throw a couple extras in there. Whoop. But there you have it, folks. That is your break for the evening. I'm going to get these all packaged up tonight. I'm going to start sorting them right now, actually, right after I've done this. And they will be shipped out tomorrow. But like I said, I'm going to have a super mixer posted up in the group. I don't know when. It'll probably be within the next week. It might be within the next two weeks. But it's going to be a big break. I'm going to allow payments on it because it's not going to break immediately. We usually do it just before the season starts, but it'll be a big one. So if you're interested in spending a little extra to get into a huge break with a lot of chances of big stuff, stick around in the group, check it out. I have a tag list under announcements if you're interested in being tagged in any breaks when they go up or break announcements. Just let me know. If not, and you want to jump out of the group, I respect that as well. Appreciate you being in this break and any other breaks you've been in. Thank you. Boyd, it was good seeing you, man. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for joining in on chat. It's always fun to chat with Boyd. MC Boyd, baby. It's where it's at. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am out of here. I'm going to get these cards sorted out and packaged up so that they can be out on time tomorrow. Thanks once again. Hope to see you in a future break. I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy and, and living the good life, living the dream out there, everybody. Thanks again for the support, and I hope to see you soon. Have a good night, everybody. Thank you.